before we start our procedure. Uh, for uh, draping the patient, actually, you must be uh, scrubbed, gowned and gloved yourself and then you can drape the patient. You must know about the surgery because draping will depend on the type of procedure. The other thing is that, what are the instruments that you will be using for this purpose? Uh, you can see it here that this is Rampley's sponge holding for cells. Okay, uh, and, and as the name suggests that you will be using it for holding the sponge. Okay, and then you can see here these are the toggle clips. These are called Mios toggle clips. Okay, so uh, you will use this to fix the toggles. This is the gully pot and in this there will be uh, so whatever solution you like to clean the patient. Usually we are using povidine solution. Uh, and that is within this gully pot. Actually, uh, this bottle you cannot handle while you are already scrubbed. You cannot put this on the trial trolley, okay? Always your assistant will put power D solution in this. You can touch this one if you are already scrubbed. And uh, your assistant will pour power in iodine in this. So, these are the towels we are using. Uh, actually, for uh, dripping the patient, there are two uh, ways. One is uh, um, these towels, which are of cloth. Um, but uh, now, uh, there are disposable uh, drapes as well available. But here, we will learn how to drip the patient with uh, these cloth towels. Okay. So, <coughs> now let's start here. Uh, uh, for the purpose of teaching, we will uh, learn how to clean the patient for the appendicectomy procedure, open appendicectomy procedure, okay. So first what we will do, we will take this uh, gauze piece, we will dip it into the povidine solution and then how we will start, you can see here that this is the dummy of abdomen in which abdomen is clearly seen and part of the thorax and part of the thigh. We will start from where we have to start the procedure of appendicectomy. This is our right lower quadrant and here you will mark this is the umbilicus and this is the anterior superior iliac spine and here you will imaginary draw a line that uh, spinal umbilical line and in this you know the incision of the appendicectomy that is at the junction of the medial two third and lateral one third. So basically you will start cleaning from this and that is the uh, uh, reason that you must know what is the procedure to be performed because you have to clean the patient accordingly. Now what you will do, you will start circumferentially outwards, you will clean it like this, okay and once you will just see that it is dried up so now you have to throw it away you cannot put it on the astral or trolley you have to throw it away and you have to take another gauze dip in poverty iodine and then start again from where you left and then you have to complete it for any abdominal procedure usually we are cleaning the abdomen from nipple to mid thigh and then after cleaning you can just clean it more. Usually cleaning twice is better. So you can take more gauzes and you can clean it twice. After cleaning it, you have to put this Rampley's sponge holding forceps away from the stride trolley. You cannot put on the stride trolley. Now you have to open up these towels and these, uh, be careful not to touch these towels with the table because table is on stride. And now you have to start and you can see we have to start from above and from down. We have to leave the part that you, we will use for surgery. We are folding a part of this towel so that we can easily put the towel clips. First we have to put the towel up and down and then on the sides.
now you can see that we have left only the part that we will be operating upon now we have to fix it with the towel clips And these towel clips must not hinder our uh, operative field so that's why we have to just put it slightly inside okay and the other one be careful not to pinch the skin of the patient 